channel. I hope everyone's been having a good week, and I will be doing another ASMR whisper uh, about my day, about kind of where I'm at, where I'm going to be uh, tomorrow, stuff like that. Um, pretty mellow day. Went to the beach again. This is the weekend. Been really hitting the beach hard. Um, hit a different beach every time this week.
satisfaction is not guaranteed. I thought it'd be funny, like the double end dollars or whatever. I don't know. I bro, I don't. I made myself look like an idiot because I don't know how to say that expression. I haven't heard it in a while. I just Google things before I say them on the channel. But someone can correct me in the com comments. Um, also, I want movie recommendations. If you can leave movie recommendations in the comments, because I can't be just fucking googling like movies and like wasting time. I need some expedited movie recommendations. I don't like the adventure movies. I think they suck. Don't recommend me stuff like that. I kind of like older movies, like Jack Nicholson in Chinatown was pretty cool. Um, Hitchcock films are pretty cool. Um, recommend me some stuff like that if you're going to recommend me stuff. Um, but yeah, so it was a pretty chill day. Um, if I could get back to the beginning of the day and just kind of ramble on about some of it. Um, the beach, there's some guys playing badminton by me, but it didn't hit me, which was nice. The whole cafeteria booth thing that some beaches have, or like the food trucks that some beaches have. None of that stuff has started yet, so I was kind of thirsty the whole time. I didn't go into the water, but I got a decent base tan going. Um, the hike I did was pretty short. Um, and yeah, I just saw an, a dog. Um, I did like this kind of night walk around, and this dog ran up to me, and I petted it. Boxer, and that was pretty nice. And that's more or less my day. I kind of should have paced myself on this one a little bit more because I'm only at seven minutes and I'm running out of content. But <clears throat> what I can say is I don't know. I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope this channel has been somewhat successful. Um, I think it's it's been gaining a little bit of traction.
before that was like almost like a decade. I think Game of Thrones started and Game of Thrones was okay. I didn't get into it right into like they made the last season and then I just binge watched all of them. That was good. Breaking Bad was good. Um, yeah, but movie wise, um, I think The Joke was the last movie I saw. It was that Czechoslovakian movie that was made in the 60s. I did a review on this channel about it, just talking, not ASMR. Pretty good. Um, prior to that, I watched a couple Hitchcock movies. I think the one, I forget what, what it's called, but it was the one where this guy gets accused of um, sabotage. I think it was actually called Saboteur, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and then he goes around the country trying to find the guy who framed him, basically. And it was, like, good but boring at the same time. It was kind of weird. I think old movies have the unique ability of being boring and not the best movie, but still being entertaining just solely as a time piece. Like, seeing how, like, they have the different the phones where you, like, rotate the like different like subtle like cultural differences and like the way they behave or the technology like I just said it, it makes it a bit more interesting even though it might not be the best movie during its time and I know I saw um, the other Hitchcock movie um, Rear Window recently which was a remake which has a remake rather um, just Serbia with Shia LaBeouf that was like in 2008 released or something like that. Actually, I like the remake better. Spoiler alert, but their remake was like this serial killer and he had like 50 bodies in his like walls in his basement and stuff. The original, there's only one murder. I think the good part of the original was it was more in doubt that the guy was just crazy because he was spending so much time alone like you didn't believe him right until the end while in the remake with Shia LaBeouf or whatever his name is um it was almost like certain from like even like 20 minutes in that he was right and it was they built suspense around that but it wasn't necessarily as good because I kind of wanted to just be more um, thinking about maybe this, this guy's crazy and I wanted to be kind of more um, involved with thinking about the plot rather than just kind of having this like almost like a team thing like you're watching like this like your your Shia LaBeouf's character would be like your football team down and you want him to win like that's kind of a very one-dimensional type of movie that I, I find kind of that's the way that Avengers movies are really formulated and that's kind of the whole structure of film that I like getting away from I don't really like that too much but once again to, to repeat myself from earlier paradoxically I did like the Shia LaBeouf remake better than this one just because I feel like it was more in time in um I can't even put a finger on why I really liked it better, probably because it was just the one I saw first, really, and I was kind of in the back of my head probably comparing it, and maybe film quality was also maybe an issue, I'm not sure, but both were good, um, both were interesting, um, then I watched another one that was about Nazis, um, forget what it was called but it was an American movie that was set in Poland during the Nazi invasion and this movie actually came out during World War II I think it was released in 41 or 42 and it was kind of making fun of uh, the Nazis and Hitler and kind of how their government was just like this pyramid scheme um, and how people were like disloyal and backstabbing in the government, which it would be if you had a fascist government, it would basically be based on ass kissing because you'd just be afraid of your immediate superior and you would kind of, there'd be so many bottlenecks and I'm not, obviously it's immoral with the, with the 
killing in the war and everything too but they didn't know about that when they were filming this movie they didn't even know the about the holocaust and i think during the filming of this movie the holocaust hadn't even started yet because i think the holocaust started in 41 or 42 and this would have this movie would have been filmed in 1940 and released in 41 so it wouldn't have even had started yet and they didn't realize until about 45 until the war ended that it was actually happening so and then i don't think it was released to the public until like 46 but or even later i'm not 100 percent sure on that but it kind of just showed um the, the inefficiencies of, of a government formulated that way even without the atrocities which was interesting to see because it's almost like a fresh perspective on something that you already know is wrong but now you see it from like a different perspective um it's almost like if you take shrooms and you see like water again for the first time but i'm not advocating shrooms i haven't had that shrooms in like over a decade i only did it like two or three times when i was essentially a teenager um I'm very sober and straight edge now but that's an, an example that immediately came to mind um yeah so i i'm, I'm happy i kept filming because i got i got a little bit more out of myself here like seven more seven or eight minutes more than i thought i would have because um i kind of lagged out in the middle of this video and hopefully people stuck around to the end because I'm trying to get some uh, watch hours so I can monetize my channel and all that. That's the greedy in me. Um, but obviously I got to try to um, make a little bit of income on this channel. It's kind of, it's, it's I don't know, it's a, it's a business, I guess. Like, I, I hope it's serving a purpose and it's not all about money, but also a, a short video like seven minutes asmr i don't know if that would be the most relaxing some people tend to like the longer ones because it kind of pulls them in a bit deeper into kind of just not thinking about whatever they're trying to avoid thinking about what you need to do sometimes sometimes you need to think about your problems and and kind of grind but when you when you're coming to this channel to see nature videos or ASMR, uh, you're not trying to think about that. Um, and when you are trying to think, come to my thinking videos, I got some opinions. Yay! Look at my opinions. Yay! Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, give me some movie recommendations. Those are some of the types of films I like. Um, I wanted to watch. Um, city lights charlie chaplin but i can't find it for free and that's another big thing with me is i don't like paying money for anything um and a lot of these older movies like the hitchcock movies there's internetarchive.com or something and i think like if if some of these older movies are deemed historically relevant or something you can just watch them for free i think it's like a a, a non-profit government thing i don't know but it seems that way um which is pretty cool because there's like a thousand movies on there and there's other free movie things that you can go to but the one charlie chaplin the city lights wasn't on any of these and i think it's like five five bucks or something on youtube and i'm not that dedicated to it to pay five bucks because i think it's even a silent movie too and i mean i'm not against silent movies but to pay like pay money to watch a movie that doesn't even have sound it's like what come on guy come on man come on guy come on man come on
see any good ones and then I gotta post this so then by the time I get time to watch a movie it's gonna be pretty late and they usually take about two hours so I don't like falling asleep halfway in the movie because then when you rewatch the movie it's not the same I think subconsciously you know what's gonna happen and then it's like it doesn't it feels like you you've already seen it in a weird way so yeah I don't like falling asleep while reading books either because you don't retain anything it's weird some people say you retain more if you read a book before bed but I've never had that happen I just get super sleepy and I just kind of skim it and it goes in like not that you're listening to it but it goes in through one ear out the other type thing like it just goes into your eyes and it doesn't register in your brain if you're too tired reading it before bed um that's my experience with reading before bed and then the movie experience is like what I said like you you wake up the next day wanting to rewatch it to get the second half that you miss and it feels like you've already seen it it feels weird so that's my day and that's my ramble there's a couple jokes in there I don't know if they're funny or if they're gonna land it's hard to tell without someone in front of you or an audience <laughs> some of it was funny to me at least I laughed at my own jokes ha <laughs> ha um yeah it was kind of interesting seeing that bird it was nice to go to the beach it's good the dishwasher's working or not again, but working better now that I'm doing it with the vinegar. Uh, I had some ice cream. It was my day off. It's pretty chill. Got a base tan going. Um, yeah, it's a good day. I hope everyone's having a good day as well. And I wish everyone the best as always. And thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving comments and likes, thumbs ups. Um, I need more thumbs up. I need more comments. The more comments you leave, the better it helps my algorithm. Um, like if a channel gets more comments, they get recommended more. Um, same with with retention. But I'm not gonna put a gun to anyone's head and say, "Hey, watch the whole, watch the whole thing, or I wanna kill you." I'm not gonna do that. I might even get flagged for even joking about that, cause people are crazy now and they see somebody with a YouTube channel and they want to report it just to do ha oh, ha jingle bells batman smells um so anyways peace out hope everyone's doing good I love all you and um I'm thinking about that cool ass bird and hopefully he's not eaten by the crows hopefully he's healthy as well and I will maybe record another one of these tomorrow not 100% sure but I have a couple other videos that are just me talking normally about some some things that are happening in my life some political things some kind of basically just opinions and takes um, maybe there's a movie review in there somewhere I'm not 100% sure and uh, yeah so peace out love all you guys and I hope everyone's in a good place in their life if you're not you will be soon just believe in yourself okay peace out